Well, it's not getting a lot of attention in this country because we don't give Canada any attention at all, but all of a sudden Canada looks a lot like the Soviet Union. Seem like we're exaggerating a little bit? Well, they're burning Catholic and Anglican churches in recent days, leftist groups are. But Canada's leaders aren't condemning the burning of churches. No, they're endorsing the burning of churches. The head of the British Columbia Civil Liberties Association, a monster called Harsha Walia, tweeted this, quote, burn it all down. Then a close confidant of the Prime Minister of Canada, Justin Trudeau, a man called Gerald Butts, called the arson, and we're quoting now, understandable. A woman called Heidi Matthews, meanwhile, of Harvard Law School, described the attacks as, quote, the right of resistance to systemic injustice, burning churches. Now, this is not the Spanish Civil War, this is now in Canada, and not just churches. Riders just tore down the statue of Queen Victoria in Winnipeg on Canada Day. No pride in genocide! No pride in genocide! Now, we'd love to go inside Canada tonight, but we can't get there. It's like 1985 Albania. It's a closed country. So instead, we're speaking by satellite tonight to Ezra Levant with Rebel Media within Canada. He joins us now. Ezra, thanks so much for doing the show. What is going on in Canada? S serious. I mean, this is, it's hard to believe what's happening in Canada. What is this? Well, I'm reluctant to use the word Kristallnacht because uh, we're not there yet. That was the night of the broken glass in pre-Holocaust Germany where they smashed and burned and killed Jewish synagogues. It was a precursor to the Holocaust. Obviously, we are not that far gone yet. But what do you call it when literally dozens of churches are being systematically vandalized, torched? There was one fire in the B.C. interior that wiped out a whole village of 250 people, two people dead, and it is not yet determined who caused it, but it was in an area where other churches have been torched, so it may actually have its first victims. The crazy thing is this is so explicitly an anti-church hate crime wave, and yet Justin Trudeau, who is normally the first and the wokest, waited a week before saying anything, and he literally said, that's not the way to go. That was as tough as he got. He introduced an anti-hate crimes bill in Parliament that's targeting mean tweets and Facebook posts, but literally you have church after church being torched by Antifa-style terrorists, and he's almost silent on the matter, and his right-hand man finds it understandable. I think these are dark days for religious freedom in Canada. Yeah, when they're burning churches and the head of the BC Civil Rights Commission says, burn it all down? I mean, that person sounds like a dangerous lunatic. Is that, I mean, who is that? What is going on? And she hasn't been sacked. That was over a week ago that she said it. In fact, various board members of her Civil Liberties Association have supported her. By the way, these churches often have Aboriginal, Indigenous congregants, and they're saying, don't burn our churches down. It's the Canadian equivalent of when Black Lives Matter burns down Black-owned businesses in Black neighborhoods. That does not help Black people. In Canada, most of these churches are Aboriginal-focused, and you often have, in one case, white Antifa-style vandals filming themselves desecrating a church. And the trouble is, from the very top, it's either silence or tacit support. Yeah, and I'm, I'm ashamed to say that American Christian leaders mostly have been silent about it, too, and I, and I wish they wouldn't be. Ezra, I appreciate that report from Canada. I hope sometime to be able to visit Canada once the borders open. But in the meantime, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.